Yeah, my dad, though, he has some mad creative ways to punish me, though. That dude <laughs> has some funny-ass ways. This fool used to do this thing back in the day where he would stick out his fist and tell me to punch my own face. That you know, shit. That's a Korean thing. and I know a lot of Korean friends that had to do yo, the what, same shit. Yeah, what the fuck is... What kind of sadistic shit is that, dude? Like, punch your own face. My brother had to so do uh, ice baths. My mom would do ice baths and throw them in there. That's like some military shit, it's dude. like, what... That takes time. Yeah. You got to make the bath. You got to fill it up with cold water. You have to throw fucking ice cubes in there and then throw your naked kid in there. You know what we call that? We call that a commitment to rage because most people during that whole 20 minute ordeal, they would have calmed down by then. Yeah. They would have calmed down. By the time I went to the store, I got all that ice. You know, I went to the 7-Eleven. I checked it out. I came back home, got into the car. I would have been done with it. I know. And I just would have had a bag of ice for no fucking reason. But, you know, <laughs> Japanese and Korean people, they're like, I'm going to stick through this. <laughs> like, I'm That'll gonna. teach them. Yeah. Like, I, oh, dude, I can't, I can't remember how many times I got my ass beat. It, 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 did you, did you ever get like beat by your dad? And then sometimes when you have confrontations at school and these kids would throw punches at you, like, that shit don't even hurt, bro. No, yeah. <laughs> like, I, nothing I, is as scary as, yeah, a parental beating. I was like, your little baby fist it feels nothing like a bat to my ass just to put just to put it in perspective i think i was more scared of my uncle and like other people too because my my parents were pretty crazy but not like them that's so weird with asian people too how your people who aren't your direct guardians can kick your ass and it's okay <laughs> like at the church the church and members get, can kick they, my ass and they're like thankful yeah yeah like the church members could kick my ass like what the hell like i'm not i'm not safe ever i have no safe house <laughs> like i like I would get in trouble at church and I would get slapped upside my head by some stranger and then he would tell on me to my parents like your kid did this and that's they, funny dude then I would just get slapped up the head again I'm like yo this is not a safe place I thought a church was supposed to be a safe house <laughs> it's kind of stupid too like they don't know how to explain things but if you notice like a lot of Asians don't know how to explain things and think because a lot of people didn't they didn't have to they didn't get explained things yeah it's just it's literally like robots like no. you're just no. it's like this is common sense so you should know already, and then I'm going to just teach you the hard way. Bah! Yeah. And then you grow up saying, well, fuck, yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. And then you, you do it to the next generation, but no one knows what they're doing. So there's a lot of stupid Asians, if you think about it, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid as in, like, people don't know how to reason. They're just, they're just they, they have really good discipline. Uh -huh. They know what they're supposed to do. Yeah. But it's everything is automatic, and there's no deep thought behind it. Yeah. So you can't really explain it. It's kind of like how we memorize math. Uh huh. Like, it, you you can't explain it. But then, like for us, um, I grew up learning a rhyme for multiplication. Yeah. And and, and like they'll they'll tell they they'll tell you, but then they said just memorize it first. It's easier. Uh huh. So you go throughout life just memorizing different things, not knowing the meaning behind it. Yeah. Yeah. There's some times too, like I, I wonder, I wonder if I'm, I, I, I wonder how my parents remember things versus how I remember it. Because when, oh, yeah. when they tell their story and my story, yeah. it's completely different. I had this recording that I'm trying to find somewhere in the house where I had an argument with my dad about the, the, the color of the room that I wanted to paint. Mm -hmm. So we you were, recorded it. Oh, uh, so check this out. So I, <laughs> So we had this argument where we were redoing the house. So he redid, redid the outside. Uh, my dad likes to fix things. Um, sometimes he does a great job. Sometimes he doesn't. But it's his, it's his hobby. And he was allowing us to paint our room whatever color that we wanted. Uh, what do you mean by whatever color that he wanted? It means the color that he approves. <laughs> so that, that's, that's, that's the freedom of choice. Yeah. That's the freedom that I had at the house. So this conversation is so funny. I wanted to paint my room a dark blue. As you can see, as an adult, I did it. Yeah. A dark blue and uh, with white trip. That's what I liked. I wanted, I wanted that. And then my dad goes, no, that doesn't make sense. I was Why? Like, what, do you, what do you mean? He goes, I like it. He goes, no, it's, it's not good. I was like, how, how is it? No, I'm sorry. I'm fucking up the story. He says, it's wrong. That's what, that was the word that ticked it's me off. It's wrong to do it? He goes, it's wrong. I was like, what do you mean it's wrong? I was like, you asked me what color. Did he say that in Korean or in English? He said it in both because oh. he can speak English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I if he feels like I'm not understanding what he said, what he's saying in Korean, he'll say it in English. Oh. But I understood what you're saying in Korean. Yeah, you're just saying you're just pissing me off in two languages. So he goes, "It's wrong." I was like, "What do you mean it's wrong?" He goes, "You can't have this." Is his words because a dark color is heavy. 
right? You can't have it on a light color because it's light. Because it's like it's crushing it. So I was... He and, just made that shit up. He just made that shit up on the spot. <laughs> I guarantee it, man. You crafty uh, motherfucker. And he goes, well, you can't have dark colors. You can't have heavy colors on light colors. And I just looked. I was like, what are you talking about? All these homes outside have a dark color and then white yes, trim. Yeah. What are you talking about? I've, I've rarely seen light on top with dark on bottom. I've never yeah. seen it till this day. Yeah. And he was saying that. And I was telling him, no, that's... I didn't even, I didn't even you mention... You usually have white trim panels. Yes. And then like a color on top. To, to yeah, border yeah. it out. Yeah. And so... And I, I, I told him this. I didn't tell him that part. All I told him was like, it's an opinion. How can my opinion be wrong? You asked me what color I like. And yeah. he goes, it's wrong. I'm like, do you know what you're saying? You're telling me that my opinion is wrong? And I had he had this silver tape recorder. Yeah. And I wanted to record it. I was like, fine, I'm gonna record this conversation. I'm gonna show you how stupid you look. And so I hit that tape record, and it's just it's just a, a tape recorder of me and him yelling back at each other oh back my and forth. God. I'm looking for Is it one of those small ones? Those where small you silver ones. Tip- <laughs> So Shit. I'm looking for that tape recorder so I can listen back to our argument oh when I was like God. 15 years old with me and my dad. And it was just something so stupid. You know why? Our parents never learned reasoning. Mm. Like in the sense of the Western sense of logic. Yeah, yeah. And being so like if you think if you think about the way they reason, right? Like they don't reason with facts. Yeah. A fact to them can be their friend's opinion. Yeah. Or what they choose to believe. Like it's not scientific evidence uh-huh. and they, to them, like scientific evidence is as like wishy-washy as, as someone's opinion to them. It's, it's in the same, like yeah. they don't care if something can happen over and over and over and there's evidence Yeah, that weighs just as much as my friend said this too. And he thinks that like, that's why their mind is not clear of what has weight and what doesn't. There's, there's so it's a, so hard to conversate with them, dude. Like, there, there's a lot of things that I've picked up from my dad. For example, that habit of always trying to win an argument, even if you're wrong, <laughs> that I learned that I, I picked you that. You did that? I did that when I was younger a lot. Oh, shit. And I picked that up being in relationships. Mm. And I started to realize, yo, I'm arguing with this girl, not because, so it would be on some shit of, I know I'm wrong. But, but you gotta win. Now. I gotta <laughs> win. You know, and I'm like, God, and I, and it, you know, when it finally clicked, I was like, I'm doing the same shit my dad. Yeah, is. you gotta get Damn rid of it. that so shit. So I'm trying to get rid of it.